Hello everybody, welcome to one of my short videos on uh, how to isolate a battery, a uh, motorbike battery, if you're having issues with power drainage after the battery has, uh, you know, you've turned your bike off and you leave it for three or four weeks and you've got some battery drain. Um, my bike unfortunately has that problem. It has fitted a lithium battery. I mean, that's the new one I'm going to fit. That's the old, older version. It's a newer one and this is a standard size you would get and in 2021 the uh, Zontes uh, started putting the 10 amp hour uh, batteries in uh, to, to motorbikes instead of the lithiums but um, it's a, obviously I can't uh, I haven't got the room on mine in 2019 bike to fit um, the, the higher capacity in respect of um, uh, 9.1 or 10 amp hours against uh, th uh, 3 amp hours on these these batteries. Um, lithium's better in respect of uh, they have a high, for that size against that size of there. They have a uh, the cranking amps is the same. You, you, you think, see that one's got 190 cranking amps. This one's got 144 cranking amps. 140. This one's got 144 cranking amps. It's enough cranking amps to start your, bi your bike up. It's just when it's actually your bike has stopped and it's not, um, it's, it's draining power. Um, and I know why mine's draining power, it's because of, uh, it has a remote key system. So if I look at the bike, it has a remote key system you press there, etc. And so that it has to be active. There must be some power drainage within the uh, PKE down here, the brain of the computer, to actually um, keep that going um, for when you want to um, start the bike. So initially you just press that button to start the bike and the bike just starts up straight away. No key involved. So it must be draining the power. So in four weeks it can drain about two of the three amp hours that this battery holds. So it won't have enough, enough to get the seat off etc. But it won't have enough cranking amp hours. I don't want to be charging my battery up every Every four weeks, I, I've got that facility on the bike. I don't have to take this electronic seat off, etc. Uh, just uh, so underneath here, I have I have uh, the Optimate lead that I just pull out from there to charge the bike. So that's not an issue. It's mainly to do with uh, I want to isolate the battery. Now this is a an isolator for the battery, and it's a remote controlled isolator as well. Um, I'll put a description where I can get. Uh, where you can get them from for about 23 quid um, basically um, your, your positive cable comes off the battery and goes onto the output cable here so that's your output end and these two that's your positive and that's your negative for your battery um, so the, that the out, so it goes through this system here and controls it from here um, whether you've got it on or off whether it can send power to the to the red positive that's uh, you've taken off the battery and placed onto here and comes with the uh, nuts and bolts etc to do it and uh, so I'll fit it now and then I'll let you know how I get on in a minute thank you okay the battery uh, is all hooked up the new battery and the isolator is all hooked in as well I've got to just arrange them so they're nice and neat basically there's two wires from the isolator on one side which basically come um, one to the positive section and one to the negative and the normal bike negative stays in its normal position then you have an output side of the isolator that, that the actual goes straight to the positive terminal of the battery which goes to the obviously the, the coil etc the starter pack or whatever it is um, so that's it basically you just bypass in this the, the positive the negative I've still got my um, down here I've still got the uh, charger so I can charge it up they're still hooked in but um, the positive and the negative is hooked to there and then the positive feed for the battery is hooked to there so now I have a remote control I either un unarm it so I press that button there it beeps and it tells you that now the bike is active and that's the key for the bike there but if I start the bike up here as you can see the bike comes on etc I'll turn the bike off like normal. It sounds like an alarm, but it's not just going into its normal routine. But I want to isolate the battery now, so if I press this button here, it clicks and it isolates the battery. 
So now it, that battery is isolated from the whole of the bike and if I try to start the bike there's nothing there because it's dead. There's nothing going through any electrical systems in the bike and it's isolated at that point there. So to me that's job done, just sort out the wiring etc. Um, you can always tell when you've, you unlock it because when you unlock it the bike it gives a beep to unlock it. But when you lock it again isolate you just get a click from the from the relay in here that's just isolating the battery. So the positive and negative is not now going to that positive point to the to the bike. So now uh, in three or four weeks I'm not using it. If I don't use it then the battery will just be as it is normal 13 amp, 13 volts, 12.8 um, to 13 volts because it's not feeding anything within the bike. That's it. Um, you can get these for about £23. I'll put a link in the description where you buy this unit from. This isolator. We've been a remote isolator, you don't have to take the seat off. And you've got to start the bike to take the seat off, obviously. Because, not start the bike, but um, start, start the procedure and open the electronic seat. But I don't have to do any of that now because uh, I've just got a remote control to isolate or unisolate the, the bike from its battery. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And uh, any comments, uh, just leave them down below and uh, nice and easy. Alright, thank you very much.